Hello everyone, this is Meet, and I'll be doing a sequence review. What are you doing there? I tried to hold that water bottle. <laughs> Let me help you out. Oh, the water bottle was tilted. Hmm, must be one of those 50 less plastic. Oh, well, this makes the water bottle a bit deformed. <laughs> Anyways, moving on with my review. This is the review for Sigfus, and this one is the Mechana Sigman and Robot AFK or Action Figure Kit number 8. So, one of the early released ones. Actually, this is the first release for this one, the black version, with a uh, brown bear. There you go, inside, I mean, the back of the box. You can see the runners inside. And why don't we crack this thing open? So inside, you will get a Ziploc bag, which is kind of nice because um, once you're done assembling it, you can put the extra parts in here. And as you can see, there's just stickers and postcards. So why don't we first check that out? So, looking at the stickers, quite a lot. There's a coffee maker there, on and off switch, gears, bolts and nuts, microwave, a furnace, different faces for the robot, <laughs> and also faces and uh, mount for the bear. Quite nice. Oh, I can also have a stick bus riding it. And you can put that on the front of the torso. Yep, there you go. Quite a lot. It's always a nice to have a lot more stickers. Here's the first one. Yeah, you and what army? <laughs> it's a lot of green military armies. Yep, and there's a website for Stickfuss. Nice postcard. And here's the Shinji rendering of the robot with the bear. Quite nice. And the assembly guide, which is just straightforward. So you put two halves of the torso there. The hand, the arms, and the legs, and the bear. And there's the gun assembly. And it's nice to be a postcard as well. So, looking for the runners. So here's the first one. It's pretty much accessories. You do have a circular saw. This is the claw. You have to attach this one. See the ball joint there, over here. So you have a claw. A gun. Just put the handle over here. It's like a ray gun. You do have a scanner which you can uh, mount on the antenna for the head. There's two of them. One small one, one longer one. And you do have this uh, vents. Or like pipes. And there's another antenna there. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, for the fingers. For each segment. Yep. Pretty cool. Next one, this is the torso. It's quite heavy. <laughs> so there's the head there, the waist, two halves of the torso or the outer part, and you just slap it in there. As you can see, two pegs on each side. Yep. Next one, the feet, which is quite big, and parts of the legs and the arms and the palm or the hand over here and the bear which is just comes in six pieces it's quite nice so once assembled this is what they look like um why don't we start with the bear so articulation wise the be the bear is you know you only have five points of articulation pretty much the basic ones you have the head so can go around as well as the hand and the leg so you can have him in the sitting pose which is quite nice yep or the standing one yep there you go and kind of have some, some problems with him standing up sometimes and there's also peg holes in there which um, you can put magnets so you can make him stick, you know, like something metallic like that one, or actually my lamp. And uh, here's the Mechana robot. Looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's 
So, um, you have this thing here that you can just attach the torso, and in the back, you have these two vents, which you can uh, place downward or upward, up to you. And I just use this antenna right here, because it's kind of cool. Um, as you can see, I don't add stickers, because um, I usually paint my kits. Well, way back when I do stick plus gun stubs. Um, but yeah. And actually, I have some customized stick. I mean, uh, Meccano robots like that one over there. But it's kind of hard to move him around once you painted him. So I'll just do it with this one. So in terms of articulation, uh, what can I say? You can do pretty much whatever you want. There's a lot of movement with the head, up and down, left and right. You could pretty much move 360. The hands. Uh, you can move them around because of that ball joint there and yep you pretty much <laughs> twist it around so it's pretty nice especially the hands um, you can do the peace sign or that one <laughs> or the middle finger but I'm not gonna do that yep that's a lot you can do with this one. You can play rock, paper, scissors if you have another one. <laughs> and, um, yep. So the waist, it's kind of, it's still one of the weakest part of this kit. Um, I'll just be honest with you guys. If you twist it around, it might break. So you have to be careful. Yep. But for the legs, there is a part there that if you move a little bit further. Over there, so he can sit down and he can bend his legs. But you have this big feet, <laughs> which is uh, pretty good because um, you know how the torso is kind of heavy, so that helps uh, give us you know strong foundation for him to stand. And yep, weapon. Oh, in terms of accessories or weapons, you do have this ray gun, which okay, um, it's actually. It's a little bit tricky putting that thing on, but you just have to wrap the hand around it. <laughs> so that's that one option. You can also swap the hand here with the circular saw, which you saw from the runner. Or the claw, which I can't find a loose one. It's around somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it comes with three weapons, which is kind of cool. So you're, you're getting a lot in this kit because you already have this cute bear, the, uh, the robot, which is totally awesome, and um, three accessories. Yep. So what else can you do with this guy besides, you know, <laughs> playing around with him? Um, you actually can customize him, and I'll show you guys my customs. 